We are going to be feeding Cheech and Chong my servo cats live fish. Fish right here. Guys, look at the catfish. These guys are just deadly accurate. Alright, we're gonna do one big scoop and we're pouring them in. One, two. Oh my goodness. Oh, guys, look at Cheech and Chong. Oh, he ate it. He ate it. What is up everyone and welcome back to the channel. I hope all of you guys are having just an absolutely amazing day and for those of you that are new here, well, I'm Jacob and welcome to my jungle. If you guys saw the title and thumbnail, well, you will know for today's video that we are going to be feeding Cheech and Chong my servo cats live fish. Now the last time we gave Cheech and Chong live fish, it was about four to five months ago and they were significantly smaller. Cheech and Chong are nearly full grown servo boys, so I think it is the perfect thing to do. So today, we are actually gonna be heading over to the fish farm. We're gonna be picking from thousands of colorful fish. So if you wanna see my servos, hunt live fish, eat them, do all the crazy stuff, well guys, you are in the right place and well, we're gonna hop right into that. All right, guys, my sister Hannah and I just got over here to the fish farm. Now, this is Hannah's first time at the fish farm. Yes. What, do you, what do you think of this place? It's crazy. I didn't expect it to be this big. I know. This place is absolutely massive. Now, this is Summerlin Fish Farm, and this is Josh's place. So, in all of these giant concrete ponds, there's all kinds of fish. We've got some cichlids in here. Um, there's koi fish. There's all kinds of stuff. As you can see, there's thousands upon thousands of fish in here. But today, we have to find the perfect fish for Cheech, Chong, and China. Now, we're not sure what we're gonna do for Cheech, Chong, and China. I mean, what do you think, Hannah? What should we get for them? Like, medium-sized fish? I don't think anything too big. Yeah, no, something relatively on the smaller side. We could probably do some of these cichlids. As you can see, there's just thousands of tropical fish here. So we've got these fish over here, but wait, there's Josh over there. Josh is the owner. Let's go over to Josh and see what Josh is doing. But guys, there's plenty of options. We could feed them koi fish, but I'm not, I'm not so sure about that. Okay, so there's some koi in here, and these guys are insane, guys. I've always wanted to set up a koi pond, and look at these little guys. Hey, buddy. Come here, little guys. Hannah, what do you think? It, should I set up a koi pond? I think so. All right, so I'm here with Josh now. Josh, what's up? What's thanks, up thanks for having me, bro. What's going on? So you guys know we've been here to Summerlin Fish Farm before, so if you're in the South Florida area, you need any tropical fish. I mean, Josh has got the craziest this stuff. Is, yeah, this is the spot to come. We got a lot of stuff here, guys. Yeah. So everything for your tank needs, pond needs. Everything. everything. All right, <laughs> so he's got everything. And Hannah, what do you have here? So we, we got a bucket full of silver sides, and we're going to be feeding some crazy stuff, right? Yeah, we're going to feed some stuff. We're going to feed some monster fish. Hopefully, you guys still have all your fingers when we're done. All right, guys, so we're going to go feed some stuff. We might lose a couple fingers, so guys, wish us luck. All right, so this is this is the big fish pond, huh? Yeah, this is the this is the big fish pond. So you got some big arowanas in here. These guys are insane. So All right, so Josh set us up right here at the monster fish pond, and this is absolutely massive. If I could have it my own pond, this would be my dream pond. We've got arowanas, cichlids, massive red tail catfish. But guys, right now we're gonna feed some of these arowanas, some of these silver sides right here. So we're gonna take the silver side right here and just pop it right in. And as you can see, these guys are just deadly accurate. Every single fish that I throw at the surface, they just instantly hit it just like that. As you can see, these guys are straight snipers and we have our giant catfish here, red tail catfish. Now, we're not gonna be taking any of these fish here, but look at them. Look at this catfish right here. Guys, look at the catfish. <laughs> look at that, look at them. He's so friendly. He's coming up, he's coming up. Come on, buddy, come, 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 come. Come get some fish. Look at him, oh, guys, that's crazy. So we've pretty much fed all the fish here. We're just gonna put the rest of the juice right here in the water and the rest of the remaining of the fish right for the arowana. So now that we fed the monster fish, guys, well, it's time to go pick out our fish for Cheech and Chong. So we fed the monster fish and that was insane. I definitely gotta get some of my own. So we're over here at the guppy ponds? Yeah, guppies, live bears basically, mollies, guppies. Okay. Flatties, all the good stuff. All right, so what are we what are we getting here? Because we're definitely not doing those. We're not definitely not doing those. No goldfish, but there's guppies in here. We got some female guppies here, five each or five for twenty. And we've got, as you can see, there's just all the colorful guppies in here. Alright, we're gonna do one big scoop. One, two, three. Guys, comment down below. How many did we get in this scoop? It's looking like 20, 15, 20. Let's just scoop them on up right here. Oh, we got this one. Wait, come here, come here, come here, come here. Oh, 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 oh. All right, we've got one in here. Let's put it in the bucket. And Hannah, why don't you grab one too? All right. All right, go ahead. Go grab one. All right, we're, all right, I got another one. She's got one. You almost got it, you almost got it, you almost got it. Go, 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 go. All right, in the bucket. All right, we're doing another scoop, and it looks like we've got another maybe five or so, five, six of them. All right, let's go and let's grab some. Oh, right in my hand. All right, I got them. All right, we got another scoop. 
we got all kinds of goodies in here. I mean, there's uh, we got plecos, we've got mollies, we've got all kinds of stuff in here. All right, I'm just gonna take one big scoop right here, just like that. We're just gonna put them on it. Wait, wait, did he fall? No, 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 no! Did you get him? Yeah. All right, we got him. All right, that looks like to be the perfect number of fish. As you can see, we've probably got about 30 fish in here. I don't have an exact count, but we got plenty of fish for Cheech and Chong. All right, we're getting the fish inside of the bag and we're pouring them in. One, two, three. All right, we got them in the bag. We got all of them here. So again, guys, check out Summerlin Fish Farm. I'm gonna be linking all their stuff down below. Again, Josh, thanks hey, a lot, bro. Anytime, buddy. Thanks. Have fun. All right. Look at the video later. All right, Josh <laughs> is gonna check it out. So guys, we're gonna head home. We're gonna get these fish set up and we're gonna feed them to Cheech and Chong. One hour later. We've got our mollies, we've got our pool, and we are back from Summerlin Fish Farm, and we are in Cheech and Chong's massive habitat. Now, I already moved Cheech and Chong into their lockout area so we can actually get the fish set up so they wouldn't mess with the fish while we're actually filling the pond up. So, so right now, I'm gonna start filling this pond up with water, and as you can see, the servals are already reaching. They already wanna get into the water. They're intrigued by the moving water. So guys, let's get this pond filled. One minute, 37 seconds later. So the pool is filled up. We have some fresh, crystal clear water. And now it is time to actually add our fish. As you can see, we've got a giant bag full of mollies. Now, the reason, again, why we're giving it to the servals is this is incredible enrichment for them. The servals are getting to exhibit their natural instincts of hunting by hunting these live fish. So we're going to go right now. I'm going to pour these fish on in. One, two, oh my goodness. Look at this, guys. All the fish are going in, going in, going in, going in. This is insane. Take a look at this. We have all different colored mollies here. We have orange, Dalmatian, all kinds. Literally about 30 different mollies. And now the moment you guys have been waiting for, Cheech and Chong are ready to get hunting. So let's let them out in three, two, one. Come on, boys. Guys, look at this. Oh my God, guys. Oh, guys. Look at Cheech and Chong already hunting, exhibiting their natural behaviors going insane for these fish right chong man what are you doing guys look at them guys this is so crazy watching the servals hunt the fish this is exactly what we wanted here and this is great fun for the servals they're getting to hunt and exhibit their natural instincts by hunting you gotta cheat catch one for me catch one guys look at them go crazy chong do you have one? Oh, he just ate it guys look he's trying to oh oh he ate it he ate it Guys, this is insane watching my two servo boys, Cheech and Chong, hunting at their adult size. This is an incredible way to give natural enrichment to your cats. By enriching their lives with live prey, well, this is how you can ensure that your cats are going to stay happy and healthy. By engaging their minds and by using their natural instincts, this is how these cats will thrive in captivity. Oh, he caught it. Chong, you're a beast, man. You're insane. Look at him. Look. This is so cool to watch them do this. Chong, you got it. Look at this. Expert hunters. And for those that don't know, the servals actually have the highest kill rate of any of the big cats. So they actually have a 50% kill rate. And it's just so cool to watch it happen here in real life. And it is safe to say that Cheech and Chong are loving their live enrichment. And well, that, my friends, is going to end today's episode. I hope all of you guys did enjoy watching today's video, Feeding Cheech and Chong Live Fish. I'm going to leave Cheech and Chong to be. Hannah's going to supervise them. And if you guys enjoyed today's video, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below if we should do live enrichment with China as well as Nebula. And guys, if you're not subscribed yet to me, you want to see more crazy cats. You want to see tigers, lions, turtles, and tortoises, and all kinds of crazy animals. Well, guys, all you have to do is go right now, hit the subscribe button, tap that little notification bell, and you'll be notified whenever I post.